Hey guys, it's Zuko. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, I'm Zuko. We're gonna be doing a review of the Axis Y Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. This is another one of those Korean skincare products that is just everywhere on my social media. I see it all over TikTok, I see it on Reels, I see it in YouTube, it's everywhere. And so a couple months ago, I decided to give this a try. So this is a niacinamide based serum that's meant to correct dark spots and uneven skin tone. This also has plant derived squalene in it. So that's a moisturizing ingredient. So it's meant to be a moisturizing yet dark spot removing serum. It doesn't have any artificial fragrance, alcohol, or parabens in it. So if your skin is allergic to any of those things, you won't have to worry about it with this product. This is a completely like unscented product. It doesn't really smell like anything and I'll show you the consistency right now. So it's kind of like a gel based consistency and it goes on the skin really nice and smooth. It's not like a thick serum. It feels very lightweight and won't give you too shiny of a finish if that's something that you're worried about. Now let's get into some of the key ingredients and then I'll tell you all about my personal experience using this serum. Okay, so the key ingredient in this skincare is that niacinamide. It's niacinamide 5%, which is a great ingredient. There's lots of research on niacinamide 5%. So I really love that. Niacinamide was one of the first skincare products that I ever discovered that actually like made a visible difference in my skin. So it will always have a special place in my heart. I absolutely love niacinamide. It's great for brightening the skin. It's a good anti-inflammatory like type of product. It also really helps to repair your skin's barrier and keep your barrier nice and strong. Okay, the only thing about niacinamide 5% is I would say, I mean, it's not a super low amount of niacinamide, but it's not really high either, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when you're trying to correct dark marks, you kind of need powerful ingredients and that niacinamide 5%, in my opinion, I don't think will fully get you there. The next key ingredient is squalene, 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 I don't know, but squalene. Squalene is an emollient that is found in your skin skin's oil naturally. It's nice because it's moisturizing but not too heavy and also has some antioxidant benefits. Okay, the next key ingredient is sea buckthorn extract, which is full of vitamin A, C, and E. All of these are very healing to the skin and this ingredient can help with hydration levels and have some nice healing qualities. The next key ingredient is papaya extract. Papaya has antioxidant benefits. It's been known to be included in some anti-aging products. The papaya extract is also an enzyme, which means that it can help to gently exfoliate your skin. So another great ingredient. Although there's not a lot of science like behind papaya and just I feel like fruit skincare in general, doesn't mean that they don't work and have good qualities to them. So I'm a fan of this papaya extract. Okay, next up we have rice bran extract. This ingredient is good for increasing the skin's hydration and promoting collagen production. It's also anti-inflammatory and it contains antioxidant compounds like ferulic acid, which is great for your skin's hydration levels. This product also has calendula extract in it, which is supposed to be super soothing. It has hyaluronic acid. So it's kind of packed with a lot of of good things. I'll insert a list of the full ingredients right here so you can see everything that's in this serum. Yeah, I don't really see any major red flags when I'm looking at this ingredient list, but like I said before, I just don't I just don't see any powerful dark spot correcting acids or ingredients. So let's move on to my experience with this product. So I've had this serum for around three months now and I'm almost completely out of it. I was shocked that it even came out on my hands to show you guys because usually when I use this, I'm like pumping it a million times and nothing's coming out. I, but I think it was just laying in a good position where the product could kind of pull up and give me its last little bit of life. So yeah, I've used this up completely and I... 
honestly, I just really didn't see any difference using this product with my dark marks. Once again, I think that's because the most powerful ingredient in it is that 5% niacinamide, which is great for brightening and like if you have some mild dark spots or you just got a pimple and it's kind of just starting to form a post acne mark, sure. This could be helpful, it could speed up the process a little, but if you have sun damage or just harder to fade dark marks, this product doesn't have the potency to really do anything for you. And that was kind of my experience using this product. I literally saw zero difference before and after while using this product. I didn't take the proper before and after pictures. Oh, that's literally the bane of my existence. It's forgetting to take the before pictures then using a product for like for a million months and then scrolling back just trying to find random selfies or close-ups that I have, which honestly usually saves me because anytime I like get a breakout or something's going on with my with my skin, I always document it. So Luckily, I have a well-documented arsenal of skincare pictures from like every month. But yeah, I really saw zero difference using this product. I think a place where you could really see it is right on my temple area right here. You can't really see on camera because I have some makeup on, but if you look at this picture from three months ago, you can see that I very clearly have these three little dark marks. And then if you look at this picture that I took last night, they're still there completely. So that's kind of an example of my dark marks not fading. You know, with, it's kind of hard with dark mark products because your dark marks do take so long to fade. I think it takes from six to eight months, months for your dark marks to fade on their own. So maybe if you're using a serum like this, it'll take you a month less. I just really didn't see any difference using this on my skin long term. And I pretty much got through the entire product. So it's really just not worth it to me. And honestly, I have nothing against this serum. Like I think this is a good serum, but labeling it as a dark spot correcting serum is a complete lie. If you have deeper dark marks or sun damage, if you have the type of dark marks that are harder to fade and remove, this is, is really just not going to do anything for you. Honestly, I think they should have called this like a brightening serum. Sure, yes, accurate. But a dark spot correcting serum, it's just not going to give it to you. So yeah, I mean, I was really excited to try out this Korean skincare brand. Axis Y creates really cool climate inspired skincare solutions. I've heard that their sunscreen is great and they seem like a good brand overall, but I was just really disappointed by not seeing any results whatsoever when trying out this infamous dark spot correcting serum. Sadly, this product didn't work at all for me whatsoever. I will definitely not be repurchasing it and I wouldn't recommend it if you have dark spots. Like I said, it does have that niacinamide which has brightening qualities, so it could work if you have really light dark spots or new dark spots or just if your situation isn't as severe. Or this definitely could work for you, but it's just not something that I would ever reach for or recommend to someone who's trying to fade, to fade their dark marks because this just isn't gonna do it. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts and detailed review of the Axis Y Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. It's a glow serum, but it's not dark spot correcting, so beware. As I was saying, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe. I have new videos every week. I do lots of cool skincare content, and if you wanna see more videos like this from me, you can check out my channel. I have a lot of skincare reviews on different products, and I'm always switching up my routine and trying new things. I'm actually starting out my tretinoin journey, which is very exciting. Honestly, tretinoin is like the only skincare that really actually has like substantial research behind it and is like proven to be a really strong anti-aging skincare ingredient, but it can be a crazy journey just getting your skin used to that product because it can be so irritating. So that's kind of my new thing. I'm about one month in, I only use it like once a week, but I will keep you guys updated 
with all of my future skincare updates. I love spending time with you guys as always, and I will see you very soon with a new one. Bye.